Hello guys and welcome back to Knitwood Gaming. Here we are in our Crusader Kings 2 playthrough of uh, as as um, Sri Lanka. Now in this episode we'd like to move into India, get some more territory down here, get some vassals um, set up, claim, press some claims basically. Um, because down here there are no claimants available to, to sort of uh, subsume into my realm. So I'm looking, while obviously the kingdom I'd like to found is Tamilakam, I also want to, you know, my, my goal eventually will be to take over, you know, vast swathes of, of uh, India. So I'd like to um, get going on that. Um, <clears throat> Pala, the Empire of Pala, or the Kingdom of Pala, has split up into Bihar and Pala. I'm not sure if they're allied, I don't think they are. Um, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite one of the claimants here to my court. Now I'm going to invite this guy because he's content and I don't really want any trouble from him. <coughs> Once I do sort of bring him into my realm, I'm going to assign my spy master to do something very scheme down here. Good, excellent, right. Um, hmm. My ruler is currently unmarried. Uh, if we can find some sort of person, bastard, uh, princess of Karnata, where is Karnata, is Karnata this place, no, oh, kingdom of Karnata, um, she's one of the princesses, this princess has a spouse, hmm, if I could eliminate these two, perhaps, I could uh, get in good there. I wonder if this kingdom is... Oh, I can't remember how to find out if it's um, uh, agnatic co cognatic or if it's just agnatic. Um, well, for now, I'm just going to go after these guys. Um, we are going to... Uh, we are going to give that... Well, what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to go to war Declare war for... Oh no, wait Hmm Regency's title being contested Right, okay, so we're going to have to wait until that's being contested I'm sure there will soon be some sort of contest going down there, so that's fine. Considering here, we've got lots of um, of revolt risk sort of things happening. Um, yes, so for now, we're just going to keep an eye on what's going on. Palo, of course, is split into two. Um, elsewhere in the world, there are revolts happening. West Francia has uh, absorbed Aquitaine. Not that that will probably ever be uh, relevant to us, but, you know, nice to know. Um, okay, let's see if there's any other claimants we can invite to our realm. There are some claimants there, but I think they might be related to the uh, ruler, so they won't really come over very easily. Hmm, yep, okay. So, yes, we're just waiting for an opportunity, really, to uh, to strike. At the moment, there seems to be none forthcoming. We are still attempting... Oh, oh we lost the trait arbitrary, which means we lose all of those bad things. That's good. Um, we are still trying to uh, absorb this, or at least get a claim on this, but um, unfortunately the claim is being fabricated at 3.38% yearly, which means it's basically never going to be done. I am going to see if I can change my Chancellor for someone better, but there is there are a few people better actually. Let's do him. Maybe he can, he can uh, increase our chances of grabbing that place. Up to 6%. Well, that's still not very good, but... <clears throat> okay, Vikrama asks, will I rule one day? Of course you will. You might get proud, greedy, or slothful. If you deserve it, you shall. Diligent is good, gregarious is good, ambitious is good. I'm going to go with it. If you deserve it, you shall. 
He's gained the gregarious trait, which means he is diplomatic and he has some nice uh, bonuses to liege opinion. Uh, I mean, um, vassal opinion. That's good. Okay. Let's hope so. Hmm. No, still can't do that. Okay. Right, well, um, of course, because I am um, I am a... Uh, what culture group am I? I am... Oops. My obesity and my hunger for food has left me with no desire left in my body. All that is left for me to eat, eat, and eat. They all resent me. Oh, good. It was devastating to see hear Sagala's harsh critique, how my constant eating and bad table manners are revolting to everyone, that I severely need a diet. That's sad. Poor me. Uh, yeah, I have a uh, holy war sort of subjugation cast a spell. Or, or reason for war. I don't know how to say that word, so I'm going to say reason for war. Um, on every one of my culture group. Unfortunately, that leaves me without any sort of uh, way of attacking these guys easily. Without uh, either using... Also, the, the, the subjugation thing costs 500 karma a pop which is rather a large amount, and I will not be building up much karma as this initial lord because he is, well, a lunatic and very sinful, so you don't build up much karma with that. I get minus 45.45 45, uh, monthly to that, so, you know, whatever. Um, Castle Town has built, been built somewhere around in here. Now, I'm interested in getting hold of uh, improved keeps, because then I can build uh, castle walls, which then allows me to build war elephant pens. And I hear, I don't know, but I hear that war elephant pens, or war elephants themselves, are very powerful. So I'm, and you know, I've never played with them, so I'm interested in getting that. I'm going to save up my ec uh, economy advances for that. The diplomatic skill of Chancellor Mayor uh, Annie Kanga is deplorable. No matter what task I give him, he always manages to disappoint. Um, you're not good. You have to shape up. Get better. Alright, let's see if we can marry anyone that will give us a position in uh, in the south. Now, if I assassinated this lot, uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Okay. If I assassinated these two, my question is, would this girl here inherit? Um, hmm. I don't really know. So, in the next uh, update, the Charlemagne update that they're bringing out, they are going to remove the ability to simply click uh, the assassinate button and go after someone. Which, I'm not sure whether that's a good idea, in my personal opinion, because it's all very well making a plot for someone within your own realm, but how are you going to plot against someone outside of your realm? I don't find that very easy. Um, my son Vikram is modest and humble, but never showing off or bragging. Now, normally I would go for the prestige, but because we're going to be building up um, karma in the next, you know, our ne uh, in this guy's reign, in the kid's reign, uh, I'm going to go for Humble, because uh, Humble will give me more monthly piety, which will allow me to use that subjugation um, uh, mechanic more, um, which I'm hoping will allow me to expand a little faster. Collected a tithe, good, good. Also, I am built an interest in building more baronies, because um, the baronies that I do have, I'm going to have to give up. Kintin Karma, or lose a load of stuff. Oh, yeah, we're going to use it. Yeah. Right, let's declare war for that. Claim that. Oh, wait, no. I have to wait until the uh, truce is up. That's fine. We'll wait until that truce is up, and then we'll declare war and take uh, a little bit more land here. So, yeah, what we're um, going to have to do is we're going to have to build more baronies so that I can um, give them away to claimants so that they remain part of my realm when I press their claim. So that's also another... Um, pressing issue that I have to uh, keep in mind. 
<clears throat> but for now, and the start of the game, things are rather slow. My liege, I am pleased to report the success. Good. Oh, majority of the people, population have been converted to the Buddhist faith. That's excellent. Well done. I have a cookie. I do apologize if you can hear the wind blowing outside. It is a rainy, horrible day where I am. Um, so, you know, forgive me if there's any gusts and stuff in the background of the audio of this. There shouldn't be. I should clean it up. Ooh, okay. Uh, we had a jolly great time dressed up as wild men, dancing chained together and appearing shaggy and hairy from head, head to foot. Too bad the fun was interrupted when a careless person set us on fire. Oh, good. Uh, I'm going to take the... Um, I was saved from any greater harm by a courtier because I don't want to be maimed. And, uh, yeah. Uh, and I wasn't wounded. Good. Um, levy reinforcement rate. That's good. Now I want to... Um, Ah, oh, that's how you unite India into one empire right there. Uh, I am going to hold a... I'm going to hold a tiger hunt. Hopefully I don't die in it. Pressing bit business. Ah, here we go. We have the opportunity. Right, once the uh, this uh, is resolved, we will claim Kalinga once we've finished our little tiger hunt. Oh, well, okay. Right, we're going to claim Kalinga. We're also going to give uh, Madurai to... Right. Um, we are also going to um, give Madurai to our claimant. Um, where is our claimant? <clears throat> Lali Tahara. Lali Tahara. There we go. Uh, we are going to land him uh, in Madurai. Um, and we are going to summon our armies. Raise our levies. 3,800 should be more than enough to pursue this war. Um, I don't really see there being a problem there. We're just going to mar march along the coastline and... Uh, then besiege this region. <clears throat> we are, of course, going to make sure we capture each uh, province because otherwise I don't think we get all of the provinces if we haven't captured all of them. Um, also, I mean, I want the uh, revolt. Maybe we'll fight the revolt afterwards. That might be a thing. <clears throat> okay. We are going to divide this army and the one being... Yes, this one's going to move north. In fact, we're going to go after his army right now. Because... Oh, we were wounded in the thick of battle. That's okay. Ah, now that's good, because that means that they've taken back the, um, the provinces that they lost. Um, which means that we can capture all of them at once, which is very good. Which is very good. Okay, good. <clears throat> um, we shouldn't have a problem holding off the enemy. I'm just going to walk these guys around just a little bit. Maybe split this army in two. To besiege two places at once. Can I do that? Yeah, good. Okay. All right. So we do have the claim down here, but that's not available to till 883. I can invest in a technological advance. A culture advance. Now, I want legalism. I do want legalism. Um, but noble customs might be more important right now. So I'm going to do that one. Uh, over here, I don't really need anything. I want to go for military organization again when it comes up because, um, and I know I'm focusing a lot on that, but I do want to get uh, retinues as fast as possible because retinues are, in my experience, incredibly useful. Um, like, ridiculously useful. I can't even imagine how you're supposed to get along without them. Uh, the Tamil populace in Naga Deepa has embraced Sinhala culture. That's good because that means that that revolt risk will go away soon. 
Um, if Vikrama is nowhere to be seen, you can always find him in the courtyard, playing with his swords and practicing his sword fighting with older men. This will turn Vikrama into a great knight. Proud, that's fine. Diligent is good. Brave is good as well. I don't want Craven, so we can go with that. He's getting the diligent trait. That's good. This is shaping up to be rather a good uh, leader. Uh, he's going to be quite martial, but that's okay. He apparently doesn't like his father. But, you know, who else hasn't been? You know, who hasn't been there? <laughs> uh, we're at plus 48% war score. <clears throat> I do, uh, just for completionist's sake, I do want to take all these provinces, so I'm going to uh, carry on sieging, even after we get to 100 or 99%. Ew, I'm scarred, but that's good, because monthly prestige, good. Yeah, we're getting lots of uh, prestige. Oh, a daughter was born. To someone or other. And she's a bastard. Right, well, great. I don't see that how that's any business of mine, but whatever. Victory there. Just going to siege down the, uh, what is it, it's a city now. Once that city's done, we'll move these guys over here to support this, because I doubt that they'll be able to take out a temple with only 500 men. Um, down here, everything's going well. We are still collecting tax and stuff. We are losing a tiny bit of money, but that's okay. Bandits have raided the siege camps. That's bad. Outside of Mandala. Maharaja Kitty. <laughs> okay, our um, sieges are going well so far. These guys are nearly finished. So are these guys. Just waiting for this to go down. Oh no, you can. Oh, they can take that on. Right, then we'll move these guys up north. That's fine. Very good. Completely conquered that province. I'm interested in these little, uh, these scythe-like things. Scythe-like things these guys have got. These are very interesting weapons. I am not about to take peace just yet. I want all of your land, not some of it. I'm not sure if you have to do that. I can't really remember. But, um, but either way, it doesn't do anything any harm apart from maybe losing a little bit more money, but we get the money back from when we conquer each province, so that's okay. We are going to move these guys northwards, probably to Puri. Oh, we can move these guys northward too. Uh, resist my foul impulses. I'm not a bad king. Or bad Maharaja. Actually, we're going to move these guys back here, because they seem to be... Fine. Back here. I'm just going to move these here just to sort of protect this land from being counterattacked from here. Not that they would be able to do very much with 139 men, but you know, I, I, it annoys me when people sneak around the back. They're probably going to walk in there anyway. Oh well. It does sometimes, I mean, you know, it's useful when you've got something like this where otherwise I'd have to drop men off bit by bit. But it, it is annoying that. Um, that you can't, you you can walk through enemy territory because it makes wars like this rather difficult to fight. Uh, a group of wandering Buddhist monks has come to visit the province. They are staging impressive shows of acrobatic unarmed fighting techniques in the villages. Oh, this guy's a bastard. That's lightning. God. Ah, oh, stop it. Um, I don't want that. So those guys are fast as lightning. <clears throat> okay. Um. Right, yes, so we're pursuing this war. We've got this war lined up next. All right, walk in there, and then I'll kill you. Swataka Mandala. One of my mares has died. That's okay. Righteous Imprisonment, Raksala. Raksala, my courtier, is involved in a plot to kill me. So let's uh, imprison him. Now safely locked away in the dungeon. Well then, how'd that go for you? 
In the chaos of battle, you may have managed to corner Tako Parama, Paramandana. Paramananda. He resisted bravely before they slew him. Okay, good rules. Uh, well. I am, after all, a lunatic, so I mean, I don't really see myself being nice to people when I capture them. Maya Pulindasena Pulindasena of Buguda was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. That's good. <clears throat> right, the siege camps outside Puri. We're basically done here. We just need to siege down these provinces here. Um, we are losing less money now. That's good. <clears throat> That's good. Nearly done. We just got to take that last city. Um, and then this war will be over. And then we can rest our troops a little bit and then be ready for the war next year with uh, Pandyan. Pandyan. Ah. <laughs> All right. I'm Buddhist, yes, good. I think the Buddhists get a lot of bonuses in this game. I mean, they are... It's hard to fight outside of India with them, but um, inside India, they get lots of learning bonuses and stuff. Right, we are now ready to accept the peace offer, or send the peace offer. Why are you not mine? It's here. Interesting. I would have thought you would have come with that area. Oh well. We've got a nice little uh, enclave over here now. We're going to disband these men. A nice little enclave down there. We're going to build up our units again and take this province here so that we can have a bit more of a foothold and also another province to offer a potential claimant for any other realm should they uh, decide to join us and have us insert them on the throne. Hmm. Bana. Bana has no claimants. Um, and this moves us closer to our, our uh, cultural brethren up here, and also these Buddhist kingdoms up here, uh, so that we can attack them later. I am looking, basically what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to convert to Hinduism when I get to, if I get to unite India, I'm going to convert to Buddhism. Possibly, depending on the circumstances. So that uh, I'm going to come back to Hinduism, sorry, so that I can then use their their um, holy war, constant holy war uh, ability to attack everybody else. Uh, not that I expect to get to there at this point, obviously. Um, <clears throat> I marry into families where I can, obviously, but uh, I prefer to keep things in the family. I am interested in. Uh, Maybe assassinating these guys. And then... Hmm. Well, it doesn't really look like they can inherit, so... Hmm. And to be honest, any son of this king will not really... I mean, will be a bit of a pain in the um, behind, really, because uh, it would put them against our current son because as soon as I can, and I can right now, I'm going to change to Ultimogeniture because Primogeniture co costs a lot of, you know, you need a high or absolute crown authority which I'm not going to get in this lifetime. Um, and Gravelkin does, would force me to split up my lands and I in no way want to do that, so we're going to go with that. Two people eloped, got married. My Marshal, I'm going to accept their marriage because I don't really want to um, peed my marshal any more than they already dislike me. Seems the young women have no long, no longer have the power to seduce me. I'm no longer lustful. Okay. Well, that at least increases our karma every month. That's good. And to be honest, he's not really looking for, you know, uh, a wife at the moment, or another. Definitely not another son, daughter. Um. So we have our. 
vassal installed over there. I, I could um, revoke, yeah, retract vassal, no, um, revoke title of Raj of Kalinga. Um, just to take that back, it would be useful to me, but it might cause a war with him. Why not? Um, worst comes to worst, I have to fight him again. But that wouldn't be too bad because he shouldn't. Right, excellent, good. We have we hold that again, or do we? Oh no! Thought I was Roger. Interesting. I don't know if really know what happened here. All right, so I'm the Duke. These names, right? Raj is Duke. Um, Takur is um, yeah. Takur is count, and Maharaja is king. I wonder what emperor is. Well, I guess we'll find out eventually, hopefully. Um, so basically, I'm going to be looking to conquer various areas over here. Uh, specifically, I would like to conquer the Chola. Oh, he's become a brilliant strategist. That is a good thing. That is a really good thing. That means we can continue our martial streak going into the next uh, out of field terrain master. master. Nice. Um, okay, uh, let's see if we can arrange a marriage with someone good. Rakumari, no, princess of Kanata. Uh, no. Um, yeah, she seems to be the daughter of the Maharaja of this entire kingdom. So I'm going to marry him off to her, and then hopefully their son can inherit. That would be good. I would be very positive about that. Uh, arrange marriage to no, okay. uh, my son. Arrange a match. Mm. <laughs> Doing this all the wrong way. There we go. Arrange marriage. Uh, princess. Yes. Send. Now, that way, in the future, if I can assassinate a fair amount of people, I might be able to get that into my family. As long as this... Oh, she has a lot of sons. And he has some sons as well. That is... And he has a son and a daughter. That would be quite difficult to get hold of, but um, but we might be able to manage it. Maybe. Guess we'll find out. Um, yes. So we have five hundred wealth. That's good. Um, improved keeps. I'm going to improve the keeps. I'm going to wait for a military organization down here. Um, I may bump up religious customs just because it's there and I can. Truces are expiring, good. So we have 30 days until we can attack this area over here. That's good. I may very well give Madurai to, um, to my son, um, just so that he has some sort of land, so that he doesn't get the minus to prestige. Oh no, he doesn't get any minus to prestige. That's good. Oh, well, then I don't care. You can <clears throat> exist without one. Um, Yes, so we are ready to fight. Let's just see how our levies are doing. They're doing fine. We're going to declare war. Declare war. Claim that place. Um, raise our armies. I'm interested about this land bridge they've got here. I wonder if that was is just a consideration of of. Um, convenience basically for the game or if that was a real thing like there was a land bridge there because well it's quite possible that there was but I don't really uh, there's definitely not one now uh, right so when these guys have all clumped together we're going to move out and attack these uh, the what are they called the Pandyan don't have any like a very large army so that's fine I'll be merciful I don't have a very large army so that's fine 
we don't really have to worry about them too much. We're just going to go in and fight their army. Our knowledge of improved keeps. Uh, right, uh, we are going to build castle walls and then war elephant pens. That's the idea. And here, I want to keep enough money. In fact, I'm going to keep enough money just to build the war elephant pens and then we'll... This should be... Oh, there's mountains. That's not great. Oh, well, we'll find them in the mountains. This battle has shown my true metal. I am brave. Good. Increases your bonus even further. That's wonderful. You carry on going, sir. They have the mountains, but we have strength of numbers and also vastly superior um, men. Focus on war elephants. Uh, focus on mountains, cavalry. Focus on light foot. I'm going to focus on war elephants just because just because I mean I'm about to build some, and I know they won't be that big a uh, a deal. Uh, for a while, but for now, it'll be quite cool. We are going to split our army actually, and one is going to stay here. This one is going to move north. A priest from a local temple has arrived, asking to speak with you. My lord, the holy elephants at the temple are all sick. However, we have learned that there is a healer in a neighboring province who is famous for healing ailed elephants. I shall pay for it. I don't mind that. Get some bonuses from the temple pot. Uh, so we're moving north to attack these guys, and then we're going to siege everything down, and it should go swimmingly. I'm going to split this army again, and move the one with my king northwards, just so that we don't get any you know, armies popping up or anything like that. Now everything should siege down just fine, and then we'll have more of a foothold here, and we can start looking towards actually creating this kingdom down here. Uh, it's going to take... we're probably going to have to take over Chola, and maybe maybe this little province here before we can create the kingdom, but then we can just uh, de jure claim various places along here. I am worried about this large kingdom here. I want to split it up or I want to inherit it, basically. Those are my two objectives. Uh, I would prefer to split it up and then subsume it bit by bit so I can replace all of the, uh, or at least you know control the vassals better. But if I have to subsume it by um, marrying in, I'm okay with that too. It will save me a lot of time if I can marry into that family and you know, grab some land. Um, okay, so we are just besieging down these provinces, that's fine. Got a little enclave here. I like that. We're going to become a coastal power along here first, I think. Food and supplies have been smuggled into somewhere. This place. Uh, increasing the morale of the defenders. Hmm. Let's see what's happening in, elsewhere in the world. Um, there is a revolt down here still. The Umayyads um, are... Well, they're not really doing much. Hmm. Aquitaine is broken off of West Francia though. That's interesting. They were united just a second ago. And West Francia has a lot of rebellions going on. Jorvik's expanding as it always does. Um, Hungary's a blob. Byzantine Empire still exists, obviously. Nothing's going to take them down for a little while. Yabguid. No idea who the hell they are. My liege, I am pleased to report your errant subject. Oh, it's convert to the uh, Isla uh, Islam? No. But it's faith. Good. Uh, I have a feeling this episode will run a little bit long, guys. I do apologize for that. But um, I want to pursue both these wars before I finish. Um... Uh, I don't like stopping in the middle of a war unless it's a very, very big one because I feel like it makes the commentary quite disjointed. Um, okay, we're going to siege down this area here. We've got levy reinforcements, that's fine. Collective time, good. Also, taking all the uh, mini little things in a province I think allows you to replace the uh, the vassals there with ones of your own choice, so that's a good thing. Message about offer peace has been received. I don't really want your peace just yet. I want to continue war. These troublesome peasants. Uh, high taxes, local revolvers, that's fine. I don't care. Okay, have we finished those walls? We have not, but we nearly have. And after that we need 295. So that means we can afford 
Ah, there we go, right. We have basically won this, so I'm going to offer peace. There we go. Going to uh, disband these units. I'm also going to build a. <clears throat> what gives me money? Castle Town. Castle Walls, too. Right, I need Castle Walls. Oh, improved keeps needs to spread there. Right, well, in that case, I'm going to build uh, something that increases my levy size, probably. But in a more tangible way, like that. Okay, so I'm just going to move these men back over our borders and then disband them, and then we, I think, we'll end the episode there, guys. So in this episode, we've we've created a little enclave to the north. Uh, we've expanded our territories down here to the south, um, and while we're getting ready, you can see we're getting ready to to attack. I'm not relying on my vassals very much at this point because they're all hating me, so I don't want to raise their levies. And then have them hate me more, and also because they hate me so much, they're not even willing to give me that much. Uh, it's my high martial skill or score that's keeping this high, I think. Um, anyway, so next time we're obviously going to try and uh, expand a little more, try and take this little kingdom down here, and maybe maybe this one next, maybe Orissa. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, but anyway, thank you very much as always for watching, guys, and I hope you'll join me again next time for more Sri Lanka rising. Anyway, see you soon.